So yeah, we're in the Saddle Mountain BLM area and I've got a friend coming to visit and he's going to be on camera. Give me your opinion about the Saddle Mountain area. Actually, you're the one that told me about it's it. It's absolutely beautiful here. Just a 360 view. The mountains that surround the shrubbery, the cactus, the trees. The only thing is you got I-10 over there and a couple of power plants, but the views are beautiful. The wind is apparent yeah i think it's just the time of year so we have it doesn't matter where we're at in arizona right now i'm probably gonna have a lot of wind yeah yeah so i'm actually leaving here today but i'm gonna get some more footage before i leave i got some pictures of the sunsets and the fire and stuff like that so that'll be in the video This BLM area is actually 63 miles west of Phoenix. So it's pretty accessible from Phoenix. Um, takes about an hour, you know, in an RV, probably take about an hour, 15, hour, 20 minutes to get here. Mostly I-10. But look at those views. I got here on, well today's Thursday, I think I got, I got here Tuesday night and it was like 9.30 so I couldn't get any video of, you know, rolling into here because it was so dark but the uh, Roy, Roy and Becky's Travels and Scott, uh, Scott Jacobson Appreciation helped me get in here. Um, and this is how I found the spot. We were actually going to move to a different spot, but I mean, in the next, you know, the morning after. But this is pretty nice, so I just left it here. And here you can kind of see where I am in relation to the mountains. It's pretty cool. You know, that's pretty good. It's a uh, cup of coffee. I used the same cup that I used to make cocoa last night. And it had some, you know, a little bit of the chocolatey stuff in the bottom of the cup. So I just left it in there. And so then it was kind of a mocha coffee. Like a, a poor man's mocha. I would definitely recommend this place. I think it's one of the nicer BLM areas that I've been to. It's also hardly anybody here. Well, the next closest people to me are actually Roy and Becky, and they're right there. But that is actually quite a ways away from this spot. They're, they're actually about in fact, it looks really far on the camera, but it doesn't look that far when you're here. It's probably about a half a football field, so about 50 yards away. And that's my closest neighbor. So that's kind of nice. Sometimes it's nice to, you know, maybe be right on top of each other with your friends. But then other times, you know, kind of in a circle around the campfire. That's always kind of cool too. But then other times, it's kind of nice to just be spread out apart from each other. So plans for today is plans for today is plans is that's not that's not good grammar. Plans for today are going back to Phoenix, going to my nephew's birthday party, which is basically I think a dinner. Um, then turning around, well actually dumping the black tanks, charging up the solar generator, you know, and some shore power, 
and then turning around just to get it to 100 percent it's at 80 something percent um and then turning around and heading to uh quartzite tonight and then the next morning not super early but like 10 between 10 and 11 meeting box van d and some others at the pilot gas station on quartzite and then we're heading to, we're heading to slab city um and then after slab city we might go to joshua tree we might go to lake havasu time to pack up and get out of here this is my least favorite part of the day um i have a playlist i have several playlists on the channel but one of them has uh, road trip bears on it. it has a lot of camping videos on it like this also roadside attractions things like that so if you want to check it out that would be awesome so this has been greg with fit for expedition make sure you subscribe if you haven't and also be like the fonz and give this a big thumbs up hey hey guys if you like the videos that we post here on the channel please hit that subscribe button if you like this particular video give it a thumbs up if you want to leave a comment, that would be great because I will definitely get back to you and share these videos with your friends if you think they would enjoy them. This has been Greg with Fit for Expedition. See you next time.